Hey y'all, so I just did a video to welcome me back to you and you back to me. And one of the things I told you I was going to do for welcome back to each other is to do one of my favorites, which is an unboxing, especially of a handbag. But I've got all kind of stuff that we're going to do. I have not opened this for real. And I will tell you that um, this is a Brahmin and a lot of times they are coming into... Um, they come to you now in just a regular box, just like, you know, a cardboard box, you know, the, the shipping box. And then inside, they just have this wrap, like a brown paper wrap around it, and this. And that's, this is what you get now. You don't actually get the, the boxes. And I think they're just trying to be cool on packaging, uh, you know, to use less of it for the sake of the planet. But also, it's obviously cheaper for them. Uh, it's certainly not the unboxing experience that you expect from a Brahmin handbag because these are <coughs> anywhere from two to five hundred dollars usually. So I would call them in the medium range. Um, I wouldn't consider them um, the luxury quality of something like a Chanel, a Louis Vuitton, a Hermes, a Dior, or something like that. But to me, this is an affordable version of a very nice. I feel it actually is a luxury handbag to get a bomb in. I do. So, let me just, without further ado, let's get all this paper off. And here's the bag. Mmm, smells like red goose shoes. Those of you who are old enough know what I'm talking about. It's just a smell of leather that smells so good. Okay, so this is a very limited handbag. And because it is limited, and meaning it is, um, they won't keep this for long, uh, it is a little bit more. Um, like I said, you can get a Brahmin in the two to $300 range. This is, uh, because it's limited edition, what does that mean? It's it's novelty, meaning that, you know, it's got the special print on it. Um, they can, sometimes they'll have mixed media of leathers. This is their famous trim, the pecan um, leather. But this is called the Priscilla Satchel. That's the style, meaning it's got these little wings out here, and it's kind of squared off, and it's... Probably, I think it's my favorite style. I do like the Duxbury uh, satchel, but um, I think this really is my favorite. I just like it. I like the, the, the shape of it. And um, as you can see here, let me pull that up. The, it always has, they always have the pocket on the back for your cell phone. That's important to me because I want to be able to reach my cell phone anytime. This leather is so luxurious, it's almost slippery. You can't even hold on to it. Um, on the bottom, they always have the little feet, and I love that sound when you put your hand back down. It just, it does. It sounds elegant. It shows that you're protecting the leather. Um, they always have shoulder straps. Sometimes they uh, do something with a, a hand strap when they're a specialty one, but not always. And then another thing is, this particular one, this is called, again, the... Priscilla Satchel Pecan, meaning that that's a trim, retreat. So obviously this looks like a summer retreat that you're going on, a summer vacation. This is not for Christmas. This is not for fall. This is a specialty one. What makes it hard is because it's specialty, it's more expensive. This is $4.85, which is a little more expensive for a Brahmin for me. Um, so what i got to do is decide if I want to keep it. And what I love about it, I do like that they always have a tassel. And they usually have a Brahmin piece. But this one, they have a special one. And it's their, um, let me see if I can hold that back so you can see it better. It's a little palm leaf. And the Brahmin is on the back. And normally it's got a little ship. And this is just the name. But it's because it's a specialty one. It's a real pretty green, metallic green. Almost looks like, honestly y'all, it almost looks like malachite. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get it to focus right on it. Also when lights are on this y'all. Um, let's see as I pull back. The lights are just going to reflect on it. It's hard to see it. Look at my little arthritic fingers. They're getting worse, y'all. But, you know, this is part of aging. Anyway, the tassel is the same material. Usually, it's whatever this trim is. This is the material of this color. So, what do I think about this? Well, I only have, I think, one other of the, um, of the Priscilla. And, like I said, it's it's my favorite bag. And I remember there's a while when I got it, um, I got it in another color. It just wasn't for me, the, the opalescence of it. Now, this actually does have an opalescent sheen on it. I'm going to do this a different couple of ways where the light will hit it so that you can kind of see the sheen. 
And it's got, uh, obviously, the print of the, the, they put on the leather and then covered it. And um, it's, it's a very shiny um, design. It's still got that kind of crocodile embossed in the middle. Again, that's the same thing here. It's the um, that pecan leather, which is their most popular, and it goes with the most. It's just brown leather just seems to go with anything, even more than black. Um, I do like when they have black mixed in because I, I use a lot of black. But um, and it's got the two places here and here on the front for shoulder strap, and that's you want to only use what was made for shoulder strap because they got it reinforced behind there. If you just hook it like say to this or a piece of the handle, it will wear it down, and so you don't want to do it that way. Um, so let's look at it inside. Let me see if they've got the shoulder strap handy. What I don't know is if I'm going to keep it. I don't know. It's kind of expensive for a bag that you will not use that often. But you could use it in the summertime. Let's see what does the shoulder strap look like. Okay, so it's a thin strap. And this could go with your pecan bags, any bags that have pecan on it. And a lot of the ones that I have that are Brahmins do. And you just hook it right there on the back. And then you hook it right on the front one. Again, like I said, don't ever hook it on anything else. That's for true for any handbag. And it makes it a nice, oh, I like that it's short. Y'all, that's, because I'm short. <laughs> Look how it hits right at my hip. So that's a good place for me. Again, I just want to make it where you can see the bag more. This cute little thing. Uh, the handles are floppity so that they don't stay up. Sometimes I don't want them to stay up. I want them to drop down, especially when I'm storing them. I don't want them up because the shelf has to be so tall. Um... But it does fall right where you can barely see this in the little tassel. I mean, it's occasional. It's not like you'll see it all the time. But that's kind of, it's a subtle thing. Um, I love the sounds of a bag, whether it's metal or leather. I love it when you click it down. Um, so this is a fantastic length for me. Almost if nothing else, I love it for that. But also, this would be so fun on any vacation, even if you're going in the mountains. <laughs> no, this looks like a beachy bag or resort living bag. Like, uh, we love to go to Fairhope, Cal um, California, no, <laughs> um, Alabama, where they have a place called The Grand. And um, it's one of those things you got to save up for. It's not exorbitant, but I think Marriott took it over after, uh, I don't think it was Hurricane Katrina. I can't remember which one of the hurricanes really did a number on it, like hurricanes do. And um, so, you know, they were struggling, and Mirac came in and kind of bought them and cleaned them up, but they did not take away the old 20s through the 40s, which was when it was at its grandest charm. A lot of it's left. It's definitely worth saving up and going to. There's a lot to do. It is brackish water. I'll warn you that I wouldn't get in it. Brackish water means it's got both river water and ocean water. What does that mean when you're in the, the deep south? alligators and so there are si there are signs that say um, be warned that there is jellyfish uh, possibilities starfish alligators and so whenever you, brackish water just means you've got kind of both worlds to live with with the the environment and the, the animals and so you just got to be careful because people have been close to the shoreline and an alligator will come up out and attack them sometimes y'all seen on the news they pull them under that's how they do it they pull you under, drowned, they roll, so you drowned, and then they take you to the bottom and stuff you under a stump or a rock or something and let the flesh rot so that they can tenderize you and eat you. And it's just like having a dinosaur still. I mean, it's, it is. I mean, it's a huge reptile. It's very dangerous. And so whenever I go to places like Jekyll or Mobile area where you've got brackish water, or certainly in Florida, any, any place in Florida, South Carolina, uh, you always got to be careful of ponds, and you've got to be careful of brackish um, ocean water, meaning it's not just ocean water. And, uh, and also, because it's ocean water, you got to watch out for jellyfish. But And you're like, Beth, why are you telling us about this place? Because there's brackish water all over and ponds all over in the south. And some alligators are making their way north. Um, they're getting higher than they used to, but um, they don't make it very long. So they'll turn around and come back because they've got to have the heat. So being a reptile. So... Anyway, what do y'all think? Comment below. What do you think of this? It, the, if you're wondering about the inside, it is your typical, wonderful, one of the best handbags from the interior that there is. It's got, always got open area, but it also has, let me pull this. It's looking like I might keep this up. Yeah, it is. It always comes with its dust bag. 
And what I do is I'll take some of that stuffing and put it in the dust bag. And I keep the dust bag in here because I have enclosed shelving. I've got big, huge china cabinets that I keep in my guest bedroom. I've got three of them. And I, that's where I keep my handbags so they don't get dust. Because uh, I used to have them in their dust bags and I could never remember which was which. And then I had a little tag system and it's like, I just want to be able to see them. So anyway, you've always got the key holder, which is nice so that you can find it when you're scrambling. But you can hook other things to it too. It's always got a large zipper. And, okay, in there, that's where you've got your paperwork that you want to do. Yep, and you want to do all that. Um, and that I keep it with the bag. I keep the card with the bag, and then when they, if there's ever a warranty type situation where you're supposed to um, send it in, I would, because then if you ever have something break on the bag that's due to the way it was made, they will, you send it in, they fix it and send it back. You don't have to pay for any of it. There's also the little, on the opposite side of the big zipper pocket, there is a little zipper pocket, and that's actually called a jewelry zipper pocket. It's for when you put jewelry in. And I've always thought, why? Why would I, to take it to jewelry pair to have extra pair of earrings? It can be for lots of things. I stick my car keys in there, because I've just got one of those little things that you do it to your car. I keep that in there, just so I always know where it is. And then it's got um, several different size um, pockets. This one has three two they're like sunglasses and then one for pen the only thing is is i don't know if it's going to be big enough because i've got a bigger phone case now this is the 12 pro max and this is a flaunt case which i'm going to be doing a video of all the flaunt cases i have because i absolutely love them i love that they're square will it fit yes it does fits right there or you can always do this it's on the back and put it right in there so anyway, comment below. Tell me what you think. I think I'm going to keep it. Do y'all like it? Do you like Priscilla's? Do you like Brahmin's? If so, do you want to see more of these videos? And I'll see you again soon. Bye!